Hello, I'm Aubrey Shepard, and we've got uh, some different photos, uh, probably a butterfly in there, but not all of that butterfly. So let's proceed with that right now. Okay, this is the uh, milkweed Asclepius viridi flora. It's also known, well, let's, let's go on, we'll talk about it again. There is some sort of uh, possibly non-native um, legumous plant. It's planted along the railroads and highways to keep soil from eroding. There's a vine, heart-shaped leaves, beautiful white with a bright pink center. And uh, you can uh, see what it looks like. It grows wild on the prairies and along ditches and railroads and in areas that haven't been destroyed by ditching out deeply and, and uh, excess mowing in the summertime. That's a natural native sunflower. And uh, you see some of the a small insect on it. Those are beautiful. See, it's not all that big, but it it is one of the, the main wild sunflower that's been the source for the big ones you find uh, have been developed. That's a rose pink or rose pink gentian or pink gentian. We'll get to that again. There's Hershey uh, Garner and Denise Berman Garner on the Fayetteville Square last weekend. So let's see, well, they, there they are talking with Larry DeLashman on the square. And you may see some uh, other folks you know in a few of these pictures. But we're gonna jump over. Here's Joe Neal at left, and Dr. Doug James at right, and Dr. James' wife in the center. And Joe is, is, uh, had just done a uh, lecture and slideshow on birds that migrate from the west and winter in Arkansas. There's Joe leading a tour on Stump Prairie, and there is the uh, Swamp Verbane or Blue Verbena, and you see some of the people on that tour walking behind it out there. And this is again Stump Prairie, and there's one of the special wild natives growing at that small natural area. I think it's 16 acres or, or something. It's right off US 59. Way in the front you see uh, Joe Woolbright. He's way out there trying to get people to come on out, but they've been all over Wool I mean, uh, Chesney Prairie that morning and not everybody wanted to walk all that far. Okay, there's your little tiny uh, pink purple thing with uh, a big old uh, bumblebee. This is not a great shot. Um, I, I needed somebody to Photoshop that, but uh, that's just about an acre of Liatris, Blazing Star. These two ladies, well, the, the lady in pink is, uh, lives in Tennessee, and her daughter there at left uh, lives in Rogers area. And they were using a Wildflowers of Tennessee book that, uh, to, to key the flowers out there on Chesney Prairie, and I took a look at it, and it's, it's by Jack Carman. It's not a new book, but uh, it's a, an excellent book because unlike so many sites you look at for wildflower pictures, this one has big pictures. Okay, this isn't far from there. And it's on Highway 16, Arkansas 16, in Fayette, I mean in Salome Springs. And you see what the highway department did to that ditch. They took out the wildflowers, took out the soil. Nobody can explain what they think they're doing that's constructive. Okay, that white flower you just saw and this rose pink here, these are variants of the gentian. It's uh, we often call rose pink gentian. And they grow, to, grow right together out on uh, Pinnacle Prairie and uh, World Peace Wetland Prairie. There's a tiny grasshopper, probably just a, a, a baby grasshopper on a leaf. Thought you'd, you've seen one similar before. Okay, there is Margaret and Bill Mahler at left and at right, um, Madra and Jim Bemis. Well, what are these guys grinning about? Well, 
these women are still pretty young, but Bill Mahler and Jim Venus turned 80 this week, or this past week, or I believe, uh, let's see, something like 6th of July and 10th of July for Jim. So congratulations to those guys for being such a force in our in our city and, and making things happen and doing it at 80 years of age when not everybody's around. I may not be by that age, but um, I admire them and appreciate what they do, even though it's more difficult, requires a lot of energy, and they have it, and they try to do the right thing. Model for all of us in our society. Until next time, this is Oliver Shepherd asking you to do your part to help keep the water clean, the air pure, and the woods green. See ya.